A rare win was recently announced by 343, and we have an update about the Season 2 of the Halo TV show. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. The rare win being an announcement for the Master Chief Collection, as we do know that they were highly contemplating about making Sp Spartan points available for purchase. Well, it seems like they said changed their mind saying we can confirm that we will not further pursuing purchasable Spartan points for the Master Chief Collection. It feels just right to say that when it comes to the Master Chief Collection, because you just want I don't know, I, just don't, I feel like tainting this legacy of games with microtransactions, it just feels, it doesn't feel right. But there is an overhaul coming to the progression system of the Master Chief Collection, talking about the removal of the 100 point cap when it comes to tiers, double XP weekends, changing up the challenges and making adjustments there and stuff like that. So we'll see what their adjustments are. Uh, some rumors have been that they're gonna make them harder to unlock probably try to incentivize people to purchase points but since they're not doing that we'll see what happens we'll just see what happens right here but it says currently we're tracking towards making these changes in the next content update for mtz which is scheduled for november it seriously feels like the master chief collection is like the more of the live service game than actual live service game of the halo infinite but obviously we're just waiting to kind of get there at this point honestly though i didn't really mind the idea of be having spartan points be available for purchase just because it's all just cosmetics and stuff like that and it's a good way to kind of monetize the game where probably a lot of people aren't really buying into the master chief collection unless there's like a sale on steam or something like that because the challenges in mcc are fun to accomplish they are not too difficult to accomplish either they can just be done by just playing the game for the most part i would admit that for a new player it could be a bit daunting to go through all these different seasons if you want to try to unlock all the customization though there might be a different way to have this happen for new players as they're saying they're removing the 100 tier cap when it comes to getting Spartan points for the, every level that you unlock. I thought for sure they're gonna go with the purchasable Spartan points as a lot of the new armor sets and new content that was just dropped for the Master Chief Collection are part of the store. They have some new weapon scans in for Halo 2 Anniversary as well. And the double XP weekends will certainly be nice to get some ability to grind up more Spartan points. There were also some recent quality of life improvements when it comes to Forge in the MCC as well. I would highly suggest going in and checking out if you're a big Forge fan. Obviously, I'm sure we're all just kind of waiting around for Forge to come around in a couple months here for Halo Infinite. Of course, once that does drop, I'll definitely make some content and let you guys know all about those details. In some other Halo news, it looks like the Halo TV show has begun production as we have a nice little screenshot here thinking of the Spartan crew from the show here in Iceland taking some cool shots. We have some information about new characters coming to the show as well as James Ackerson jumping into this as well. Talia Perez will be a new character within the show and also it looks like we're going to see Soren's wife and son playing a bigger role within season two. Now I did see this get some traction on Reddit so I kind of wanted to dispel this rumor that Quan is not going to be part of season two. Funny thing where you can actually do is just click on the link and it will take you to a news article about the TV show. And here it says the returning cast members of being like Jen Taylor as Cortana, Bokeem Woodbine as Soren, we have uh, the, the actress who plays Halsey, Olive Gray, and then Yuren Ah, who is the actress for Quan Ah. So she's definitely returning the game. But interesting thing here, Charlie Murphy is coming back with season two. That's who played McKee within season one. And if you guys, spoiler alert, don't, you haven't seen the ending of season one, well, things don't really go out in uh, McKee's favor. Which is gonna be very interesting to see how they bring this character back for season two. Maybe if Chief keeps having these like ring visions that like maybe the ring is on like a higher plane of existence or something like that, it's gonna be weird. The Halo TV show was all right. It definitely had its weird moments, but it definitely had its awesome moments as well. I'd give it about like a mixed review for the most part. And I'm definitely looking forward to season two. Hopefully they take some new feedback. They do have a new showrunner for season two as well. But when to expect the show to come out? Well, since they just started production, so they just started filming, Filming usually takes a few months. Most of the time it's spent up in post-processing, like editing, editing music and things like that. So I wouldn't expect to see this probably until at the earliest spring 2023, if not during the summer. So I'm sure I'll see some internet comments saying, don't care, stop talking about that woke show or whatever. It's like, whatever, man. I like the show. I'm definitely looking forward to season two. I'll definitely cover it on the channel here. I mean, come on, we have to wait until November for a little bit of content and then wait until March for an actual season drop. So there's not a whole lot to talk about when it comes to Halo right now, guys. There's been a recent rumor going around that the head of the Slipspace engine, the technical engineer, is 
leaving 343. It's not announced yet, but that's what the current confirmed rumors are. So if you want to check that out, there's a video right there for you. Thank you very much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.